no chickens were harmed in the production of this game. And now, for our feature presentation. From Crave Entertainment. Oh, hello. I'm Chicken Little. And I'm not Chicken Daddy. Little. Once again, presenting the controversial videotape received earlier today. From a mysterious dimension parallel to the Earth. Oh no, a cube. To all round, fuzzy, squishy things. I am Colonel Cubicles, leader of the Bullion. We are speaking to you now to issue an ultimatum. Free the He's cubes. He's trapped in an Amiga. Free the cubes, or taste our vengeance. You have 24 hours. We received this tape 23 hours and 50 minutes ago. What does it mean? Our expert joins us. Dr. Carl Cockerell, expert in crowd control and alien invasions. Carl Cockerell, the bullion? Should we be afraid? We should always be afraid, Henny, whether a threat is real or not. If any stranger enters your area, remember to cluck hysterically, flap your wings, and run around in circles. We're chickens. That's what we do. Sound advice. Thank you, Carl Cockerell. For New Center 12, I'm Henny Penny reminding you, if you want bread, you've got to help bake it. And I'm Chicken Little. The sky is falling. I can agree with that one. You know the old saying, when the cat's away, the mice will play. But what do chickens do when the farmer goes to town? Well, they have themselves a party. What is this, chicken run? <laughs> What do you mean, the script? <laughs> A little violent. I assume that's our hero. Okay. Hello there. <laughs> Hello. And... Welcome to Shiro Plays, and welcome to Mort the Chicken. I, I have no idea. Um, I played a little of this during Easter, as sort of a little joke sort of post on Twitter, and I quite enjoyed it. So I'm going to continue, I think. <laughs> well, I'm going to start from the beginning so that you guys who didn't see it can um, can see what I'm up to. First, I'm going to remind myself of the controls, as usual. So we have the ability to rotate the camera, we have an attack or two. Stop time, I think what it what it basically means by stop time is just sort of, this is the look around button. Where it lets you look around without anything coming over and attacking you. Chick call, well, that can be for locating where the chicks are. And then that's my run button. Okay, so I'll go with that. Ignore the... Um, Picture of the Mona Lisa in the background there. <laughs> I'm sure that's completely legal and fine. Make parodies of priceless works of art if they want to. I also like how they did that menu. It's quite cute. It probably took a lot of time organizing the chicks. Can't imagine the coding for that. Okay. Let's give this a go. Now, this is obviously different from the usual stuff we put on this channel. And I'm going to try and expand what I cover on this channel. I know it's supposed to be racing games, but I'd like to run the odd adventure game. And this is a very odd adventure game, <laughs> I'm going to say. I'm not 100% sure what I'm doing. I'm just going to try and find the chickens and get them back home. We can treat this as like a, a late Easter video. This is the Easter special. <laughs> very special. made that jump. Um, well, that was run. What was... um? Ah! Right, so he points towards the chicken. Ah, so I... And then he'll point towards where it is. Nice. So it's around this wall. What's in here? That, make me, that makes me jump really high. There's the chicken. There's the head. The chick, rather. So 
Well, that should be, I think, all of them. I don't know what the magnet does. I assume that's more health. I think... Will this tell me how many there are left? Sorry, no, that's pause. Ah, okay, I've got all six. Look, in we go. <laughs> well, that was the first level. That was quick. I mean, I did play the first level for for the little tweets that I did on, on Twitter for Easter, but I don't really know the second level that well. But it's, it's, it's a coherent game. Oops, sorry. I said silence. I'll be silent. Silence. Be quiet. To the miracle of fuzzy video, we fuzzy video. Yeah, it's very your fuzzy. Ladies, your leader have learned that a number of our brethren are kept as slaves by the formless, squishy things who live in the universe parallel to our own. They took our cubes. That's hate. Silence. In retaliation, we took a number of the small, squishy things, which we will keep until the cubes are released. Silence. These squishy things have sent a ruthless commando, known as Mort the Chicken. No, I don't think they sent him, they sort of dived in immediately. And he has met with some success. Therefore, I, Cubicles, implore you, find this Mort the Chicken. Bounce on him. Run over him. Roll over him. Smash him. Me. Spin on him. Damage him. Jump on him. Smash him. You said smash him twice. Mort the chicken must fly. Silence. I, Cubicles, have spoken. I do not like this undulating cube. <laughs> I wonder how many random art parodies there are. I look forward to seeing more of them. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Here's where I stopped, and here's where I will continue from. Um, how am I going to get that star? This is like a magnet. I wonder if the magnet will draw over things that are magnetic. These are you guys. So if I fly over there and go near it... I can't get it. It's just all the chicken noises. I, I recognise that one from Muppet, uh, uh, Muppet Monster Adventure. The chicken throwing weapon. <laughs> I'm just going to get as much of that. I haven't actually been hurt yet, but I assume the cubes that are bobbling around here will do damage to me. So, thankfully I am beating them to the punch every time, so that's okay. I'm going to try and climb this thing. <laughs> Oop, don't. There we go. Can I make that? No. He's a little bit cumbersome. I'll, I'll admit he's a little bit cumbersome, but... It works. Try and get around here. All these chicken voices. <laughs> Got that one. Get back over here. Can't really tell where I am in space. I don't know what the stars really pertain to. Oh no! How did I do that? What's that? Right, so jump and then square, and it does like a downwards spiral attack. Oh, that's 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 the look around button. Look that. So triangle pauses time and lets you look around to sort of assess your situation. I don't think I've been up here yet. Oh, there's two more up here. I doubt I can fly over to that. That's some sort of... I guess that's the next level. Can this chicken shut up? <laughs> all the chicken noises. Shush. I think I've got all the chickens now. I'm not sure. Yeah, there's none. He's not pointing anywhere for the for the whistle. So that's all six chickens, and I'll dive in. And I think I get all those coins. I'm not sure. Lovely. 
I don't know what coins pertain to. I don't know what stars pertain to, but I've got a fair amount of both there. We'll continue. Oh, another news bulletin. I'm Chicken Little. And I'm Henny Penny. Panic and pandemonium struck a sleepy farm today as odd cube-like creatures snatched up baby chicks seemingly at random. Henny? The number of chickens missing is still unknown. Our inability to count has hindered <laughs> Chicken? It all took place here, during the live taping of the popular Mort the Chicken television program. Mort and the wacky gang were apparently in the middle of a good old-fashioned hoedown when... Disaster struck. Yes, we were there. We saw it in the intro, but go on then. You can show me the violence once more. Mort the Chicken himself, in an act of bravery or stupidity, both. leaped down the well after the Definitely chicks. Both. Why these cubes took the chicks remains a mystery. And there's an even bigger mystery. Henny? TV's Mort the Chicken. Why would the star of a children's television show leap down a well? Very well, Because the chicks are the children, so you want to save them. Insane? Is he a hero, or in cahoots with these cubes? Joining us for this discussion is Dr. Carl Cockerell, expert in television personality analysis and appropriate barnyard behavior. Dr. Cockerell... He's, he's just the expert in everything. Hindrance? Menace? Hero? Whatever else he is, Mort is a chicken. As a chicken, he is genetically hardwired for panic. By not panicking, he's betrayed his chicken nature, and by extension, us. If he's part of the problem, another Why is there a fitness problem, video going in the back? Problem, well, he's still a problem. So if he's helping, he's a problem, and if he's a problem, he's a problem. Exactly. Thank you, Dr. Cockerell. My pleasure. And for our next update, I'm Henny Penny. Don't count those chickens until they're hatched. And I'm Chicken Little. Never cross the road unless you know why. I don't know why. Okay. Continuing on from <laughs> for goodness sake. <laughs> I, I need to get pictures of all this terrible art. I wonder if I can extract it. <laughs> Hollywood? It doesn't look like Hollywood to me. It doesn't look very much like Hollywood at all. Interesting. Okay. So we've got one chicken. We've got five left. I don't really need to break them apart, but I guess I can. <laughs> if I ever take any damage from those cubes, then let me know. I, I, what? Have I been flung into the wall here or something? Because there's like a an acme scorch mark around where I've hit the wall. There's a game of tic-tac-toe on a very large... Oh, sugar! Okay, I took damage, I'm sorry. <laughs> this is no longer a damageless run. Oh yeah, I have the spring thing. Oh, I can't land on them to use them as platforms. Okay, now I know. There's a chick up there. I think I've still got enough bounce to make that. Come on. Yay. Okay. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. I meant to break open the spring. Okay. Well, there's coins up here, but there's no other chicks. Oh, there's one over there. One over there. And there's another one down there. Lovely. Where's my nearest chick? Point. Thank you. So the nearest one is down there. I can see another one. Seeing if there's one to the right here. There's one over there. Sugar. Wrong button. <laughs> I keep on pressing triangle. I mean to press square for an attack. Or circle. There's, there's like two attack buttons. I can either hit them with the... Um... <laughs> with the... Is that the gavel? I can't think what that's called. I don't know my bits of chicken. I've got four. I need one more. Alright, so there's one over there. You have to sort of, when you're jumping, you have to not be over a gap when you press jump, or else it'll glide instead and you won't get any height. Alright, that's this level, I think. So we'll just head back over. Easy peasy. <laughs> it's not bad, it's no spiral. 
it's no spiral or crash, but it's a it, it's a completely playable game. <laughs> Let's keep going. That was Hollywood. Why is that one called Hollywood? Oh. Well, that explains the fitness video thing that I said earlier. <laughs> Did we just put random clips in between the levels now? It's like we've run out of news bulletins, just put some jokes in between. Uh, right. Continuing on. We're now in Monuments. Saw a chick over here. There we go. There's eight in this one, okay. I think there's one over here. I think the one that I was holding went to the well. So there are actually nine chicks in this one. But they're, they're, up in the, they're up in the difficulty. Not too difficult though. Circle seems to be a better attack than square. Because this, I think it's a gavel. Or it's very long range this attack is. Okay, so there we go. In the Mort the Chicken meta, if <laughs> the better attack is Circle. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Can I make this? Oh, great. Okay, we made it over that. I was worried about that when it started flipping over. These levels are quite big, actually. Okay, that's an actual block I can stand on. Good. Hello. Get that one. Get the star. And we'll get this chick. <laughs> so that's five. I think I've got all that. Yeah. And peck button. Where's my nearest chick? Over there. Right, well, I want this for it. I know. I know. What am I stuck on? He seems to get stuck randomly. Head up here. Now I've got six. One over here, and I can still get up there because I've still got the spring. That's seven. And there's one more somewhere. Where? Ah, on top of here. Okay. And there's the well, and there we go. That's. I think that's all of them. Love. <laughs> I don't think there's a limit to how many you can have following at any one time. So I shouldn't have to go back and forth, I don't think. There we go, that's all nine of them. Let's see what silly cutscene we get now. I'm Chicken Man. We know. And I'm Henny yes. Penny. The Cube Kidnap Crisis continues. Joining us live at the barnyard is correspondent Charles Chicken. Charles? This is Charles Chicken reporting live. I don't like being here. I'm pregnant. <laughs> Don't worry, that's normal. What's the situation there? One brave barnyard fowl is going to follow in Mort the Chicken's footsteps. Don't make me! I don't want to go! <laughs> chicken Cam exclusive live coverage of the dangerous alternate dimension where our chicks are being held captive. No, please! No. <laughs> Come on, Mort the Chicken did it. He's insane! No! Better him than me. Oh no. Can I go home now? Thank you, Charles Chicken. Stay tuned for more live coverage of the ongoing crisis. Until next time, remember, if you're going to flock together, make sure your feathers are similar. And if you have eggs, always put them in more than one basket. That's a rule of thumb. What's a thumb? I don't know. <laughs> these interviews, just... These, these TV and... No, not the... No! <laughs> Stop it with this artwork! <laughs> oh, for goodness sake. Right, Cathedral. I swear the most normal part of this game is the levels. Right, if we knock out our cube adversaries. Yeah, the most normal part of this game is definitely the levels. Oh, I can't do that. Thankfully, it pushed me back in. <laughs> so violent. <laughs> Yep, lovely. <laughs> oh, sugary cop. <laughs> oh no! Oh, they recaptured the chick! 
So if I walk underneath the, the see-through one, it'll recapture one of my chicks. Can't hurt you. Why can't I hurt you? Oh! It just made it tiny? Okay, so I... Oh, sugar! Alright, so I can't go near the red one, because they have like a... an electric field of some kind. Let's see. So I'll wait for the red one to go past. There's actually some strategy to this. What? Why am I huge now? Now can I kill the red ones? No. I guess I deal more damage, but I've no idea because everything seems to die in one hit anyway. Maybe my range is increased. All I know is I'm gigantic. Sugar. I'm big, but I can't pick up that collectible. Okay, so a big thing is going to run out in a second. Where am I going next? Down there, thank you. Alright, I can't... I'm going to have to go around you because I can't hurt you for some reason. I think the size of the cube um, denotes if I can hurt it or not. Tiny cubes, uh, ones about the size of Mort, I can hurt. But I don't think I can hurt that big one. Uh, where's my next chick? Down there, okay. I am stuck. I don't know what I did then, but I got stuck. Oh! Flipping... No! Ah! Get out of it. Do not capture my chicks. What is this? Oops, sugar. Do I have to... Do I have to do something with that? Do I have to do something with this big, um... Maybe there's a chick just up to the left. <laughs> I went to the right. Can I jump that? I can't quite jump that. Um, I have to figure out where I can get a little bit more height. Can I take the camera? Thank you. I lost the camera button. Can I get from here? Ah. Oh. Hmm. I just need to be a little bit higher. Now we have the Rugrats um, voice in the background. Oh. No, and now I've gone too low for that. Very precise jumping in the chicken game is happening. <laughs> I do not like that voice. That fucking Rugrats voice. Oh, you could have given me that sooner. Well, now I can make it. I would have liked the spring earlier. Right, I think that's everyone. Yeah, if I'd had the spring earlier, that would have been easy. Alright, where's the well? I think it's over here. Use that oh, there it is. Watch <laughs> those for no reason. I think that's everybody. Oh no, 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 it's not. Still two more. Where? Um, not behind the waterfall. Can I go in the water, or is it going to kill me? No, it did not kill me. Good. Is the one behind the waterfall? No, you can't go in the waterfall. Bad game design. Them's the rules. If there's a waterfall, you got to have a secret in the waterfall. I also can't get out of this bit now. There we go. Right, so... Do the whistle again. Over there. Oh, in the corner here. Okay. And then... 
Oh, sugar. Ah! Fell over here. Can I get out of here? Oh no. I don't think I can get out of here. Uh. Oh, I can. Using a combination of dive, of jumping upwards and doing the spiral attack, I can jump higher than normal. That is a strat. <laughs> Oh, get off. Right. So where's my last chicken? Over there, okay. Got you. Where? In here. Okay, so I, I need to scale this thing again, okay. This level's taking a little bit longer than last time. Uh, I mean, the previous level. Sadly, I don't have that spring anymore. Can I still make the jump? I'll still make it, good. Destruction! I missed you in the corner over here. Okay. And they captured my guy. Yep, so I've got two. And there's the well. Okay, we are home and free. Lovely. <laughs> Oh, that was a bit clumsy. I wasn't expecting there to be that many in that level. I don't know how many levels there are, to be honest. An egg. I don't know what that was. I assume that was for collecting a number. There were like ten chicks in there. Alright. Oh, we do have chicken cat. Worked. Oh great, it's an X-Mix video. Where's the rave mu- where's the trance music? <laughs> That's it. Okay, we just had a transition. That's the- that- No! Flipping Van Gogh's self-portrait. Oh wait, there's my egg. I don't know where the egg went. That's not the error collect. Notice what the name of the level was. Oop. Right, so we've got ten chicks. I'm just gonna have a like before I start using the whistle to try and notice where they are. I will just have a, a furk around for now and see if I can spot them. Don't think I can touch those. Ah, the magnet is pulling them in. Oh what? What the? Wait, so whilst using this, I can fire my chickens. At... They're auto firing as well. I didn't fire any of those. So they fire themselves at the opponents. <laughs> They're just going mental. <laughs> Stop, guys. <laughs> Great. <laughs> I thought I was the one being violent. Right, where's where's this? Oh, we're, going. we're going over here. Okay. Well, that was a wonderful pack. I'm very thankful to have collected that. And I think I'm going to bank some chickens. Another magnet. Okay. And yeah, we're going to bank some chickens. Oh, that's all of them. <laughs> okay. I didn't realise. That was a lot quicker than the last level. Oh, that was called Pyramid. Right. Oh, yeah, because of those blocks in the middle, I guess. The greatest collection of dance hits ever made. You get Funky Chicken by the Chickadelics. Shake Your Tail Feather by Cogburn and the Coops. Got to Get My Talons on You by the artist formerly known as Rooster. Baby 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 by Baby Chick. Oh, Baby Baby by Chick Baby. Baby Baby, oh, Baby by Baby Baby. I Wear Funny Hats by Weird Al Chickovich. <laughs> much, much more. I Wear Funny Hats by Weird Al Chickovich. Okay. What is that one? I don't recognise that piece of art. Or the parody, as it were. 
Oh great, they have stilts now. Ah, they have stilts, and they know that I'm here. They are actually seeking me. Oof, I'm losing a lot of health as well. That was me, like, this is sort of a jokey game, and like, I'm actually taking damage from this level. Oh, they gave the chicks little hearts. Like, they've captured them, but they've still made sure that they're warm. How caring. How, how lovely. It's another biggie. I'll leave that there for now, because this one hasn't run out yet. This, this level is actually slippy. There is actually a form of, like, grip and damage here. Not damage, um... There is actual... Yeah! I don't think the cubes themselves are taking to the ice very well. Never mind me. Yeah, I'll take all of that, thank you. Wait. Nine chicks left, okay. Whoa, I forgot I had the spring. One over there. Wait. <laughs> Not sure how many. I think I've got six following me now, and there are nine. Okay. Seven. Let's bank some of these chickens. There's another one. Thank you. So, where are... There's one over there. And he's just pointed to the other one. Oh! No! Get off. Get off my little chicks. There's one over here. Okay, that's everyone. Did this thing. Right, where are the other two that I just... Where are my others? Where's it just... I'm gonna run. So you coming. And you. Right, I think it's put them up here somewhere. Where's it put them? Are they back where they initially started? Okay, there's one over here again. I think it just put them back where they started. Keep away from the ones with legs. There we go. I got rid of them. And now we can get out of this level. Boy. Whew. That was a bit of a tricky level, actually. <laughs> I wasn't too confident with that one. Actual ice physics. Physics, that's the word I was looking for initially. Another update, okay. I'm Chicken Little. And I'm Henny Penny. What's it all about? Why are they taking our chicks? Are they as afraid of us as we are of them? Why is the portal to their world at the bottom of a well? Let's get some answers from our resident expert, author of Your Inner Egg, Who Needs to Fly, and The Coop of Tomorrow, Dr. Carl Cockerell. Carl Cockerell, these cubes, our chicks. Carl Cockerell is the only could be just guy they've got. Harmless as it seems. These cubes have always been down there, shy, but curious. When they heard our youngsters laughing and having a good time, maybe they just came up to see what the fuss was about. So why did they kidnap the chicks? Well, maybe they haven't been kidnapped. Maybe they're just having a sleepover. Maybe they made a play date. But what if this well has somehow become a gateway to another dimension, a dimension composed entirely of cubes? That's ridiculous, Henny. If you're going to indulge in random speculation, which is my job, by the way, <laughs> You might as well say that we're all just images on a screen being manipulated by large featherless bipeds in some kind of video game. How do you like Don't that? Don't say that. Huh? Thank you, Carl Cockerell. Now, back to your regular programming. We got no answers during that. Great news report. Also breaking the fourth wall. Thank you. We've seen this one. <laughs> They've run out of art. Okay, this one's called Coins. Goodness me. And it is. Do we get a magnet? There we go. Lots of springs. 
This one's basically just get rich quick. Okay. I can sort of get on board. How many coins do we need? Okay, there's another spring here. And I assume there's a chick to grab here. But all the chicken noises again. Whose idea was it to do, like, hip-hop music with chicken noises just shoved in? Like, I want to know who composed this. I mean, not to say they have problems, but... <laughs> I'm just not convinced by this, uh... By this I mean, it's lovely music, of course, of course it's beautiful. Yes. Oh, there's the chick. Okay. So there is at least one chick to collect in here. I mean, I don't know what the coins are for. Like, is there a shop somewhere where I can buy, like, silly hats for my, uh... for my ridiculous-looking chicken? I don't know how I did that, but I just sort of went for it. I think there's, like, an air draft that pops up to save you from falling. Yeah, there is the sort of an air draft so that you don't um, fall off into the abyss. Real kiddie mode. Let me just test that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I can't fall off and die. <laughs> I think I've got everything I want. I mean, again, I don't know what the coins are for. I don't think there's a shop somewhere where I can just, like buy outfits and things. They're just like, here's some coins, here's some collectibles, enjoy. I think I think that's all it is. So let's continue. Don't fall off. Going too fast. Say so driving too fast. Not a racing game. Okay, we have 93 coins now. I think every 100 is a life, I guess. I think that's how these games normally work. Yeah. Yeah, we've got... We've got three eggs, four eggs... I, I don't know. Percentage-wise, we've got nearly all the coins there, so great. Another fitness DVD. Thank you. <laughs> okay, they haven't run out of art, <laughs> for goodness sake. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Villa Cuba. Okay. And those four eggs that we just got have dispersed themselves throughout the level. There are ten chicks to find in a lovely sort of Roman villa place. I'm big now. Ah, now I can... Ah. So when I'm big, I can hurt the stone blocks. Oh yeah, I have a spring now, I forgot. I'm gonna go up here. He's kind of terrifying when he's big. He's kind of terrifying anyway, but... Even more terrifying when he's big. You can see the pixels in his eyes. His... I don't like how he looks at the camera. <laughs> Get out of it. <laughs> I mean, it's basically just exploring around, see where the chicks might be, and don't get hurt by the cubes. It's quite simple, but I quite like it. So that is... okay, so I've got four left now. And now we are a normal-sized mortar once more. Thankfully I can still hurt that green one, though. But I'd assume I can- oof! Didn't see you. I'd assume I can't hurt the stone one now. Head up here, up this bit of architecture. I can hurt you, okay. Another chick over here. Probably. Oh no! Oh, I should have saved my chips. I didn't know there was going to be a chick rocket launcher again. Here's some more chicks. 
this one, and then we will hop down and get this one. And the chicks are firing themselves around like crazy. And I've ended up in the water. Thankfully, the water is... Well, the, the water is... I'm just walking on the water. Jesus, um... Jesus chicken. Like, that water was deeper than... Deeper than we were standing. It was just like... It didn't care. Right, so we've got enough bits to start another corn cob, as it were. Okay, do I have all the chicks? No, I don't. There's one over there. So I'm going to have to head up here to a high spot and then fly over. I assume. Okay. Um. Oh, up there. Ooh, can I make that? He didn't jump when I told him to. Okay, we made it anyway. Is that everyone? Yes, that's everybody. Okay. And there's the finish. Lovely. In you go. Fantastic. <laughs> I am quite enjoying this. <laughs> In a very silly way. It's got some good humour to it, this game has. I quite like it. <laughs> I don't know how far we are through at all. I have no idea how this game ends. Oh no, another ice level. Oh, these aren't fun. Right, okay. So we'll go for you. Can I hurt? I can hurt those. Okay, good. I've got the little hats on again. I don't know what hurt me then. What hurt me then? I think just the ice hurt me. You're coming after me, so I'm gonna run. I can't hurt the red ones. Okay. Have as much health as I can. And then we'll follow these guys up. Out of my way. Ooh, the camera's back round. I wonder if it was to save on resources when they made the enemies cubes. Like, we can't think of any, like, crazy space aliens, but we'll just make cubes. It's fine. This is, this is a little slide for them. Ah! He's sliding after me. So, make that jump, please. Yes, okay. Any more? There are some more, okay. I'm going to have to battle these ones. There's a little one sitting over here. Still one around, I think. I have a magnet. We're going to cut in line. Bank the chickens that we've got. In you go. Oh, that's everyone. Lovely. <laughs> Short and sweet. I feel like I'm going to complete this game in one sitting at the rate we're going. No idea how long it is, though. Another news bulletin. I'm Chicken Little. And I'm Henny Penny. Today, more baby chicks erupted from the well thanks to Mort the Chicken. Hero, yeah, we're doing good work. TV star and dear friend. You and Mort go quite a ways back, don't you, Chicken? Oh, yes, Henny. Gosh. You know, it feels like yesterday when we first met. Oh no, we're doing a flash. Here at the scene of NASA Propulsion Laboratory, where the ever so publicized rocket sled is about to be tested. Joining me live is the test pilot. They call him Mortimer Chicken. Mortimer. Even though you're terrified, Mortimer, you're a better chicken than me. You wouldn't catch me in a rocket sled. He doesn't sled even know. Miles an hour. Where do you get the guts? He's just a okay, normal chicken. They're strapping him a non talking they're chicken. chicken. A little resistance. Okay, a, a lot of resistance. Mortimer is strapped in, and we're ready to go. I can see the engineers running around. They're almost ready. And there's the countdown. Three, two, one, blast off! And there it goes, over 500... What is this stop footage? <laughs> Wait, is that character development? 
Baby Mort felt so lucky to be alive that nothing scares him anymore. He'll probably be dead soon, but until then, we'll admire him. Wow. I think Mort's adorable. I'm Henny Penny. And I'm Chicken Little. Now back to the game. Already in progress. Excuse me, game? This is not a game, this is real. You can't break the fourth wall like that. Also, that was character development. That's why he's got such a big bottle on top. Wattle, that's what it's called. That's why that thing's so long. Because it was involved in, like, a high-speed land speed record. So he's a bit of a racer. Great, I've made this tie into racing. Because <laughs> he's a bit of a speed demon. Great. <laughs> I want, uh, uh, whatever. Right, we'll carry on. <laughs> I have no idea how long this game is, but I'm going to carry on a little bit longer at least. I don't know why there were fart noises then, but I'll just accept it and move on. I bet they were in the music. This music has been odd to say the least, so I wouldn't put it past having silly fart noises. More grain, please. Corn, I guess. Uh, I want another chick. Over up there, okay. Can I step on you? I can step on that. At least that cube is, um, friendly. Thank you. I don't think I can make this one. Oh, I can, I can. Oh, wow. Not only is it friendly, it's... Nice enough to just hover there for me. Oh, I can't make that jump though. Will this one hover for me? Yes, it will. Thank you. Very cooperative cube. Now I'm going to slowly make my way over here and collect that chick. There's one over there, but there's one up here as well, so I'll get this one first. Get this one. Okay. I feel like there's a location over there. Can I? Oh, it didn't jump far enough. I don't know why there was a plate smash sound effect, but that was very aptly timed. Oh, I'm not going to make that. No, I'm not. Now, what do I do? I'm stuck. Okay. So my spring ran out, so how am I going to make that jump? I'm going to have to platform over all this, aren't I? Wonderful. No, let me go up. Sometimes the platforming isn't 100% like... Uh, like I press jump. And sometimes he only goes up like an inch. I have to jump and then do it. Ow. Come on. <laughs> I jump and then go. Or just don't. Or just don't make it all. How can you not make that jump? I made mean, this one. Uh, not like that. No, I can't make these jumps. I'm going to have to go find a spring. Thank you for these updrafts to sort of keep me alive, as it were. Uh, there's nothing over here. I say we bank the chicks that we've got. Might help me, actually. I know I can't drop them, but I'm worried about having them fall. Um, there's a horrible noise. Where's the well? Go away. <laughs> You're not stealing what I have. Now, the well is over here. Okay. I've only got six. Go on, guys. Oh! That was all of them? What? I swear there was one in that little corner. Okay, then that was all of them. I, I thought the bit to the, um, the bit where we couldn't make the jump was the next bit.
Be on the lookout for this duck. He is presumed armed. I mean, winged and very dangerous. Thank you for the warning. Oh, what's that? What's that one? I'm going to have to, like, get someone to tell me all the bits of art that are referenced. I'm not very up on my art, I will admit. Okay, so I assume here I have to... Wait. Do I have to do this? Yes! <laughs> so I have to jump to the top and then jump and square and do that. Nah, but I can't. Oh, wait. No, I can't. I can force it up. Ha-ha! <laughs> can I do that with four, though? No. <laughs> you have to be on the top. A little bit janky, that move. <laughs> okay. So we'll jump to there, and then... Back there? Yes! <laughs> We have another spring, thank you. Can I make this? That's a big jump. Go! <laughs> that feels quite good, like this. Just about got that one in time. Aha! Let's bank some of these chickens. Music has gone xylophony. <laughs> okay, so three more. I'm, I'm actually really enjoying this. It's very strange. <laughs> well, I was not expecting to enjoy this game as much as I am. But I just wanted to play a bit more of it because I played it for Easter and then got curious because I've never played this before. <laughs> Make that jump and splat. Wait. And we'll do the same jump again. Can I make that? Ah. It didn't jump before jumping. Um, you know that. Sort of floated off the platform. So I want to jump and then press X again to sort of initiate the glide. Right. One more. Thank you. Okay, so. Just one more. Boing. And go! <laughs> oh, didn't quite. Sometimes he, doesn't, sometimes he doesn't get all the way to the bottom of the, um, the pile. Tower. Right, let's pop these in. There you go. And that's that level. Lovely. Egg? No, no egg. Okay. So, Doctor, what part of the chicken does the nugget come from, exactly? <laughs> Wait, did, did the voice change for the, um... I swear that was not Chicken Little's voice earlier. I think we've had a voice actor change. Space Bridge. Okay. We are now in space. And we have a rocket chicken. Ah, we can't quite make that jump straight off. I wish I hadn't collected the rocket chicken then, because I didn't have any chickens. Come here, you. Right, you fire yourself. All my, uh, all my enemies, please. <laughs> Calm down. Okay. There we have a spring, and another rocket. I can refresh the rocket. I mean, it's quite apt that they've put that rocket power up in a space level. But this is one of the... Not the final level in the game, but... Usually when you get into space in these sort of games, you're getting close. 
Maybe I will finish this in one sitting. No idea. If I don't, there'll definitely be a part two to this, because this is quite good. <laughs> he says... It's honestly quite good. It's quite charming. I quite like it. <laughs> Can I bank these chickens, please? For some reason, they won't bank. Why won't they bank? You go in now? They won't bank. Uh, are there any more to find? There are no more to find. For some reason, they just wouldn't bank. But they went in now. Okay. That was quite a straightforward level, but wasn't too bad. I missed a lot of coins. It's okay, though. No cutscene this time, just straight in. Okay. Chicks. There's 36 chicks in this level. We've used this layout like three times. Okay, let's let's do a test. How, how many chicks can I have following me at any one time? Like, before the game gets angry with me. Ah, right, okay. It won't let me collect any more. And I have... One, two, three, four, five... I, I think I'm carrying ten? Might be. Let's see how many it banks. I was carrying twelve. Okay. I guess that's why there's 36, because um, that's three full runs, as it were. Okay. What's this? This is a mag. Oh, thank you! That's even more useful. I guess they decided that this level's a bit tedious and gave me a magnet. Oh no! <laughs> okay, this level was just a joke then, if they, if they did that as well. <laughs> the devs are just having a play around, aren't they, with this? Can I bank these? Uh, last time when I went into this and then out of this, it uh, let me bank them. Please bank. I can't pick up any more. Go in, guys. There we go. No, they're not going in. Why aren't they going in? I can't do anything with these. I've got as many as I can following me. I think it's because I have the rocket power up still. For some reason, I can't bank them. There we go. Right, thank you. I can't bank them until, um... Why am I calling it banking the chickens? I can't, I can't put them in the, um... I, I can't save them. Yeah, we'll go with save. I can't save them until they've turned off the rocket pack for some reason. There's obviously some sort of issue there. I don't know. I'm having an issue now. I'm too big to land nicely on the platform. There we go. Alright. Do I have any... I'm not carrying 12. Any down here? No. God, he's, he's humongous! There's one over there in that corner. I think that's 12 again. Oh, nope. Okay, I've not been up here. Yeah, I've not been up here. Okay, that's everybody. So we'll fly over to the end, and then I'll bank all my chickens. I'll put my chickens in the basket. I, I don't know how to call it. Righty. That's a whole bunch of chickens collected. We're going to get some eggs for the next level or something, I guess. There we go. There's an egg. Another one. And another one. Four, five. <laughs> They've run out of space on the display to fit all the chickens. Well, they did that to themselves. They shouldn't have put 36 chickens in the level. We've also stopped giving me silly cutscenes and now we're just playing the game. Where's my fitness videos? Chick fitness. 
Don't Google that. <laughs> What is this music? It's like... Wacky music. <laughs> to be fair, all the music has been quite fitting. In a very strange way. Oh no, we've got the rocket thing again. Right, well that means there's less, um... Danger. I don't know what that one is. I don't know what that one does, it's like a... I, I don't know what it is. It's like a spring? But it's not a spring. Come on, chicken rockets. It's like those things that you pull apart to be stronger. That, so I, I assume it increases my strength. I don't know what they're called. Don't need to do any attacks, as it were, am I? My little chicken army is uh, dealing with that one. Okay, magnet, thank you. I don't really know where he's looking. Like, I assume he's looking towards the nearest chick. Sugar. Accidentally did a downwards attack. Put some trumpets in the music for no reason. Okay, another spring. Don't fart. I've been fart noises. I guess it's a kid's game. You can have fart noises. I'll allow it. For some reason my hit did not hit. There we go. Go, 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 go. <laughs> Imagine speedrunning this. I bet there's a speedrunning thing for this. It's, it's gotta be like a... There's speedrunners for every game. There's gonna be a, a Mort the Chicken speedrunner in the comments and he's gonna be like, Oh, you didn't do this trick. You, you didn't do the jump with the thing. And I'm like, I, I know I didn't. I was laughing at the funny art um, between the levels. And he's like, no, but you're supposed to do this. <laughs> How many chicks do I have to find? Okay, so there's one down here. Thank you. I do like how the um, the pointing thing is subtle. Like he points to the chicken. Is that all? He points to it to know where to um, to go next. But it's not like a big arrow saying, "Hey, they're over here." No, he just points his nose in the right direction. It's subtle. It's quite nice. All right, I think that's all the chickens. So pop them all in here. We're not going to get him. And in we go. And hopefully we'll get an update from our local news reporters. I want to see if Chicken Cam's okay. We should have met Chicken Cam by now. He's probably following us. <laughs> I did ask for a fitness video, I guess. Fine. How many more levels are there? Cold pipe. Yeah. I see a doctor about that. Right, so I can't do anything about those because they are sto Oof! I can't do anything about those ones because they're stone. And this is more like a half pipe than a cold pipe. I, I guess that's where the name comes from. Okay, we have the chicken rocket launcher. This, this is my favourite um, attack. <laughs> it's not very accurate though. Get the magnet as well. No harm in having that. I'll have the um, I'll have the chicken feed as well. I think they captured one. No, they didn't. Oh, they captured one. Ah, there we go. Right, so now I have a shield, and I have protective rockets. 
I think I have as many power-ups as I can hold at the moment. Although it wasn't letting me have four in the previous level, but it's let me have four this time. Not sure why. I have too many things going on at once. I'm a little bit overloaded. Oh, they can even destroy the, um, the stone cubes. Apparently they came back. There's still a chicken somewhere to collect. I like how the stars make the coin noise, and the coins... <laughs> the coins don't make a star noise, but the stars definitely make a noise for collecting a coin. Fact, the stars make the coin noise from um, Muppet Monster Adventure again. That's two sound effects in this game that um, match that game. Yeah. Oh, I can destroy the stone ones. I was convinced that like I had to be big to destroy those. Okay. Uh, which way am I going? The one down here. Okay, there isn't one there. Ouch, okay. Uh, there's one... No, that's not one. I thought that was one, but it's chicken feed. Um, Over here, thank you. It's like Sparks' pointing ability that you get later on in um, Spyro 3, I think. Spyro 2 and Spyro 3 have that, actually. I'm not sure. I cannot find my last chick. Oh, he's in this little corner. Ah, okay. Now, where is the, um... <laughs> Where's the exit? This music is a stark contrast to the, uh, the previous level. It's got a lovely sort of atmospheric... Um, I can't describe music. <laughs> no, I meant to eat the stuff. It's like a lovely calm theme, as opposed to the general craziness of the rest of this thing. There's the exit, okay. Give you a slap. <laughs> there we go. And in we go. Lovely. Whew. Eggs? No, no eggs. Okay. I'm going to keep going. What did I just watch? That, just, uh, we've run out of ideas for, like, videos in between, and we're just... Whoa, 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 whoa. What is this? Hello, block man. Ugh. What do, what do I do with this? Goodness. What? Okay. Um. Okay, so I'm. Well, I'm running, but I'm not dealing him any damage. I assume he is the. Um... I assume his bar is the bar on the right. Ugh. So what do I do? Um, do I have to hit them back at him? Uh, I don't know how to deal damage. I'm just trying to keep things uh, going. This is, this is fast and frantic, but I, d I don't know what to do. Like, I can't turn around. Is there an ending to this, or is it looping? I, I don't know. I don't know if this is looping, or if I've got to deal damage to him, or... I've, nothing is obvious.
I have no idea. <laughs> uh, uh, I mean, I'm still alive. That's a good start. I'm supposed to be doing? Am, am I supposed to be dealing damage or like, how do I deal damage? I'm gonna stop running and see what happens. He slows down. He slows down if I, uh, if I stop running. Now he started jumping? If I stop completely, Right, he's got ahead of me now. I have no idea what I'm doing with this boss. Right, so if I slow down... I have him jump in front of me. And then do I knock a cube in such a way that it hits him? I think that... Yes! Yes! Okay. That's what I'm supposed to do. The trouble is, now I'm on, like, zero health. So I need to not run like an idiot. I spent like ages running. And then it's like, okay. Right, I need... Did that hurt you? Okay, I need you to throw some blue things. Throw some blue things. Okay, and then we slow down. I need to keep these in front of me. I bounce them backwards! Okay, now I've got a tactic. Okay. So, hit them forwards. And they will bounce off the camera at him. But I've got to be lucky and hope that they um, don't hit each other. Lovely. He hit himself with that one. I didn't even do anything with it. So, hit that. This is the strangest boss fight. This must be the end of the game. This, this is a bit physics-based. Okay, that was a good two hits. I'm on, like, no health, though. Go on. Yes! Yes! <laughs> I was on, like, no health when I finally figured out how to do it. Is that it? Yeah, I collected a bunch of coins because, um... Because I spent ages running from the boss thinking it was, like, an, an outrun thing. I have to outrun him for a certain length of time and he kills himself on the, um, the bricks. But no, I had to actually fight him with reflecting attacks. Different. Is that it? Is that the end? I feel like that's a good point to end on. Cube fa What the? What is this? Okay, so now I've got another boss. Where I have to attack him with the dice. This is so strange. Right, so the the uh, the dice are out of bounds at the moment, but now they're not on fire anymore. I guess so. I can use them. I uh, give me nightmares. Okay, I need to get the dice in such a way that I can go in front of them. And fire. Okay. I think this one's easier than the cube guy. Than, uh, than block man. Is this the... This doesn't look like the guy, um... The guy who was in the, the TV thing at the start. So this is just... This might be another henchman. I don't think this is, um... Cubicles or whatever his name was. That was a double hit. you got to give me that one. Come on. 
There we go! <laughs> yeah, I'll take my stars, thank you. Oh, that's why stars make a coin noise, because they're worth ten coins. Right. You could have put them at a point where I don't have to jump for each one. Would have been nice to just run around and get them. There we go. Yep, so that's a hundred coins. This is slap for good measure. And we'll put our little chick in the well. Thank you very much. Now, is that the end? It, it might be the end because he's just left the well. Was that the whole game? I may have just completed the whole game without really, like, intending to. There was going to be a part two. Uh, okay, what happens then? Cube news. I'm Perry Lullagram, and this is the news. Our long nightmare is finally over. At this hour, the war between the cubes and the soft, squishy things has ended in peace. And it turns out it was all based on a simple misunderstanding. We thought the soft, squishy things, which we now know are called chickens, had kidnapped cubes from our world. But we've now learned that these cubes are not cubes at all. Well, they are cubes, but they're not cube cubes, if you know what I mean. They're food for a larger squishy thing with split hooves called a cow. <laughs> I don't pretend to understand it. All I know is the danger is over. Here to explain it is our leader, Cubicles. Oh, no. Well, we killed him. Silence. Oh, okay, you, you weren't talking. It is I, Cubicles. We have engaged in a great war with the soft, squishy things we know as chickens. I believed that these chickens had imprisoned certain of our kind. This was my bad. <laughs> Funny story, these were not real living cubes, but stacks of food that looked like Yes, they were hay. <laughs> like tofu or, or marshmallows. They are called hay bales or hay stacks. They are inanimate, not alive at all. They are eaten by cows, a larger, soft, squishy thing. So, I almost got us all killed for nothing. <laughs> Joke's on us. Sorry about that. But all's well that ends well. Can I still be your leader? Ah. Uh. Silence? Well, okay then. But we could have been in danger if we had been in danger. Oh, never mind. I am so out of here. <laughs> Is Mort? The chicken, any less a chicken for a being a hero, maybe it's okay to be brave. I have literally just completed the whole thing, haven't I? You're kidding me. And now we just get like a... a big parade of footage. Wait, Blockman looks different. Was this footage, like, this was recorded before they'd finalised bits of the game? Great. So not only that, but we have, like, changes that were made in the game. <laughs> Great. Blockman had different coloured cubes. For some reason, they made him all blue in the final. Put that on the cutting room floor. <laughs> Not sure what this video is actually like doing. It's just a long sort of like hooray you did it video. Yeah, he does, he looks different. He was all blue and had like a controlling thing. For a head. The control panel thing. That, that weird. I don't recall ever having that power either, where his he neck gets really long. Our chicks. Perhaps he even saved the whole world. Thanks, Mort. Thank you, Mort. Thank you for your help, Mort. And thank you for my help, because I was piloting Mort. Yeah, that's it! I bet that website doesn't exist anymore. <laughs> right, where's the composer? Because I, I want to know who made that Aki music playing right now.
Yeah, I'm gonna watch the credits through. <laughs> I could have picked a different one. I, I didn't want the uh, the all clucking noises. Um, musical. So this, uh, these guys did the art. I'm going to assume art and animation includes the art for the backgrounds. Voice? Oh, yeah, yeah, they're, they're, they're not saying who did whose voices, though. <laughs> Music and sound. Brian Cobra. Okay. It's his fault. Wait, do I know that name from somewhere? Not coming to my head right now, but I'll probably regret not reacting to that name later. Is it going to go with special thanks to us for playing? With commentary, Carl Cockerell, expert. Sometimes even experts get it wrong. Not long ago, I told you that chickens, when faced with danger, should run around flapping their wings and clucking wildly. That's what we do. Yeah, it does. It says thank you for we playing Morty Chicken. I said. Well, what about Mort, the chicken? When faced with danger, he went forward to face it, fearlessly. He saved our chicks. Perhaps he even saved the whole world. Is Mort, the chicken, any less a chicken for a being, a hero? Maybe it's okay to be brave. Once in a while, if you look both ways first and get a note from your mommy, why not help the helpless? Maybe panic and fear are for the birds. That's just my opinion. Please don't hurt me. I am Carl Cockrell. Thank you, Carl Cockrell. Not sure what we're doing now, because I think we've read all the credits now. It was just going to keep looping forever. That's it. That's actually it, and it's just put it on the start menu. I just did the whole game through. Okay. <laughs> Well, I, I guess we're going to leave it there, then. That was... Well, I'll, I'll say that was enjoyable. I, I, I did enjoy that. I had to sort of guesstimate stuff with some of the bosses. The first one I didn't really understand until I accidentally hit it. And then the second one was a piece of cake in comparison. But there seemed to be no ramifications for us killing their, like, cube kind. And there's a lot less of them in the, uh, the speech at the end. Anyway, I'm rambling. <laughs> I shall say thank you for watching, and I will see you for the next game. I don't know what it'll be, but it won't be Mort the Chicken. <laughs> it might actually be a racing game, you don't know. Betty, take care, and goodbye. Phew! Did the whole thing without making a single pun. Excellent. <laughs>